into somewhat of an offense unless it's a transition to get out and push. Four turnovers for Atlanta to match the four buckets. That's not exactly the ratio that you want to start. The pull-up is good for Cup. Not hesitated about taking stances for social justice, and the way they go about it has grown stronger and bigger and more impactful throughout the years. You know, the WNBA bubble as an example last year, an even greater way to unite the players. In particular, defensively, not letting the opposing team. And three to shoot here on the shot clock. Atlanta's got to heave it. Hayes does exactly that. Nearly put it down that time. Same starting lineups to begin the second half as both of these teams began the game with. Hebert with the kick out here to Copper who goes baseline and they'll count. Scoring pieces and Candace Parker and, and Allie Quigley, even Steph Dolson again, those three. Credit the dream for how they've come out, the intensity they have played with in the focus. Well, remember, five new players have joined this team, either because of the free agency drafting. Uh, someone like Crystal Bradford joined the team in a training camp contract. And saying how she had a silent nine points in between that time and just making such a big impact with her size, length, offensively and defensively as Copper, like Diamond to Shields, who get down the floor with only a couple of steps, nice long strike. Game that happened in 2015. That year she played 15 games, started one. Their offense has lacked a little bit of a flow in consistency since that is of the missing pieces that they have in the last few games since that. Any team that can get the type of bench production that Atlanta was able to do in the first half, 19 bench points in the first half alone, that's only good for the longevity of a season.